So recently with the new update and with the new expertise system, it really has brought out me playing with a lot of different builds. And I totally forgot about this build because when it first came out, I kind of just realized that there are some skill builds depending on how you build them that can hit harder. But this one is very efficient, really easy to put together and hits really hard. And that's what you guys are gonna see in this gameplay, just how much damage this bad boy can put out. and with the right exotics, with the right talent, this thing can put out enough DPS to stand up there with some of the harder hitting skill builds in the games. So in this video, we'll be showing you guys how I break it down and hopefully this gameplay will convince you enough to at least try it out. And a good thing is it will help you level up that expertise level because you can run four pieces and run this in the open world or in harder difficulties. So how does the build go? Well, let's get into that right now. So for the weapon, we are running the capacitor. I feel like this is your number one go-to weapon in the game for skill builds. Whatever skill builds you are running, the capacitor is going to be that gun that you should be running. There's a couple reasons why. Now, the damage on this one is 95,700 RPM with a 40 round mag. It has assault rifle, damage to armor, and health damage always rolled on it. But the real reason why you guys want to run this is because of the talent. Now, shooting enemy builds a stack of cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage. So you can hit very, very hard. But it even gets a little better. Now, after five seconds, those stacks do start to decay. One per second, but this is where it gets better. For each skill tier you have, 7.5% weapon damage. And since we do have a six skill tier build, that's why this weapon hits hard for an all skill tier build. And, and that's why I actually enjoy running this when I do run all six skill tiers. And a lot of people run this on their skill builds. Now for your secondary, you can run whatever you want. Since I am leveling up my expertise, I am running the Carbine 7 because I'm trying to level this one up and get it proficient. But you can put whatever you want there. The main weapon you guys want to have is the capacitor. This is going to be the weapon that's going to make your skills hit harder and you are going to hit hard too. Now, what set are we running? Well, we are running the Rigor gear set. Now, the two piece gives us that 15% skill haste. The three piece gives us that 15% skill duration, which is great for the two skills we're going to be running. And then the four piece interacting with your deploy skills grants the skill 25% skill damage for 10 seconds. This buff cannot be refreshed. Now, interacting includes using deploying skills, changing the skills target, which that's what you'll see I'm doing a lot of, and healing the skill. But what we're gonna be using is changing the skills target. So we'll be like targeting different enemies and you'll see that at the bottom of the screen, this is what you guys should be looking for. So as soon as you see these two symbols disappear, you should be targeting different enemies and that's when it's reappearing. So those are the two, the two symbols you wanna look for. Now we do have skill tier on here. We have skill damage and skill haste mod. Ideally, this is what you guys are gonna to wanna to go with. For the chest piece, we are running the rigor chest piece. We have skill tier, skill damage, and skill haste. Now, the reason why I chose the chest piece is because of this, best buds. Increase the damage buff from 25% to 50%. So now, interacting with your deploy skills grants 50% extra skill damage for 10 seconds. That's a lot more damage, and that's why you start to see some of those high numbers. You pair that up with the capacitor, and your skills are hitting pretty hard. But yeah. Those are the talents you want to go with, and this is why I ran with the chest piece. Now, obviously, one of the best exotics for skill damage builds is going to be the Waveform Holster. Now, this always comes with skill tier, skill damage, and skill haste. The reason why this is so good is it generates a stack of 3% skill damage on one of your skills every 30 seconds, capping at 10 stacks. So that means at any given moment, one of your skills could have up to 30% extra skill damage and then obviously it will start to go down the other one will start to build up now this process just keeps repeating back and forth back and forth and that's why this is probably one of the nicest skill damage pieces because it will increase your striker drone and your assault turret and you'll see how i'm running mine now for the third piece of rigor we are running the knee pad so we have skill tier skill damage and the final and fourth piece are the gloves and that skill tier skill damage so you do want to run a four piece so we can get obviously that four piece talent and then for the backpack i went with the hand of you backpack now a lot of you guys might say why the hand of you because it only gives you 10 percent skill haste but it's because it comes with perfect combined arms i'm going with force multiplier so we have skill damage skill haste and then a skill haste model here and then we have perfect combined arms shooting an enemy increases your total skill damage by 30 percent for three seconds 
So there you guys go. That is why we are actually running this one. And that's why we're able to hit so hard. We're using the capacitor. We use it to shoot enemies. That's triggering perfect combined arms. That's also going to keep our chess piece talent from the rigor set active because we will be targeting different enemies as you guys are seeing right here. And that's why it's so good. That's why we're able to take down these enemies. As soon as everything is proccing, when you have all the symbols, you'll start to see those enemies armor just disappear. Boom, boom, boom. And you will clear areas pretty efficiently. So for the skills, we are running the striker drone. And if you look at this, look at the damage, 74,000 damage. And the one thing you should remember on this is that damage is going to be increased by the talents that we're using by the capacitor once we build that 40 stack, also by combined arms, and then also by force multiplier. So just a lot, a lot of things going on with this that you guys should really keep in mind when you're running this. And then I do pair it up with the assault turret, 115,000 damage, and obviously all the stacks apply to this too. So two really good skills to run with the waveform host i think these are actually like the two best to run with that because both of these are going to hit hard and it's going to really delete those enemies when they come in your face and that's personally why i run the build this way and if you guys are having any questions on this if you guys want to know more about how i like running my skill build if i like running this one this is definitely a set that is forgotten about but it's very very good and i would tell you guys to give it a shot if you guys are leveling up your expertise this is a great build to put in there play with this i am almost done with this one if you look i am at proficiency rank six on this one so once i finish this i'll put this one away and then start working on other ones but if you guys have been looking for a skill build that you might have fun with this is a really easy one to put together and definitely performs let me know what you guys think if you guys have any questions if you guys have any recommendations let me know down in the comments we are running the technician class we do get that extra 10 percent skill damage by running the technician class so obviously if you guys want since we do get one skill tier you could put another red somewhere on here or you could run something else i don't because i didn't get the rolls i needed everything i have here but yeah you can one 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 red one blue and that will still give you a six skill tier because of technician class. So that is something else you guys can do. I right, wrap it up here, guys. Appreciate it. So appreciate the love. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.